excited for the opportunity to participate in this national robotics competition, Mr. Rodriguez. I mean, this means everything to me. I mean, I, I can build anything I want, but, I mean, like, how did I get here? It's like, just yesterday, I was sitting in front of class and... Hey, hey, Mr. Fascinate. The pleasure's all mine. Good luck to you, kiddo. People go on from this competition and get hired by companies like Noodle, Twatter, and Crapple. Well, really? I mean, it, it, it's, I always wanted to be able to work for like a, like a Noodle or like a Crapple. I mean, this is like a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You're the best, Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you so much. Okay, okay, Mr. Fascinate. I see that you're excited. Just remember, if you really want to make a winning robot, you should make it think and learn on its own. And we're buddies now. So you can call me Mr. Rod. Well, I'm, I'm not really sure if I'm comfortable with that. I'm, I'm not really sure if I'm comfortable with that, Mr. Rodriguez, but, I'm, but, I, but I see your point. I mean, you give me a bunch to think about. Oh, what it would be like to work for a crapple. I mean, I could just daydream about this all day. Bruh, why are you wearing a lab coat in school? I mean, it's really an, an ideal wardrobe choice for me to perform experiments whenever I'm ready. Your head looked like an oval. Your neck look like a noodle, and why you got two left feet? <laughs> hey, well, I believe my body is pretty aerodynamically efficient, so I mean, how dare you try to... You gotta be the squarest dude for 50 miles. Your head look like my pencil eraser. You a old, low-budget, fresh Prince of Bel-Air looking... You know what, I've had it. You're not gonna continue perpetuating negativity about what I believe to be my best qualities. Now, if you excuse me, I have a robotics competition to plan. You trying to box my dude? Square up then. Wait, what? No! I just wanted to. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! No one laughs at my funny jokes. They never invite me to their parties, and I never get torques. They'll never think I'm cool if I keep doing this stupid science stuff. I can't even win a fight. The only thing I walked away with is a fistful of filthy Phil's hair. Wait a minute! A DNA sample! That's it! These kids want to reject me? I'm the coolest guy in a 50 mile radius! I'll show them! All it's gonna take is me to use this machine learning algorithm. It's so simple! This thing just teaches itself! Once I've encoded this DNA sample and plugged it into this formula, I should be able to create an artificial intelligence that simulates consciousness! A self-learning artificial intelligence! Once I've created the software, I'll upload it into the hard drive on this drone that I bought. If this works, it'll change the world. I'll win the robotics competition in like a, like a Nobel Peace Prize or something. I'll be right up there with Einstein. Mr. Fascinating Cobalt! Boy, if you don't get in here and do these dishes! Oh, okay, Mom, but, but, but hold on one sec! <laughs> Installing coolness protocol. Complete. Booting. Personality construction. Complete. What's happening? Where the plug at? And why is this hunk of metal guy in this swag? G -g Gosh, he's, he's so cool. S say something else. Why you got two left feet? Uh, I, th I think the writers were trying to insinuate that I can't dance. You mean you mean you telling me you smart enough to build a talking flying robot, but you can't even fix your two feet? And why you got on that oversized trench coat? And look at your face. You need a makeover, my dude. That's precisely why I built you. You're gonna help get me cool and no, no. Uh, all, all my information is getting deleted. So all your data got erased? Oh no! Looks like instead of artificial intelligence, you'll be like artificial ignorance! <laughs> you know, I'm definitely ignorant, but I still ain't as uncool as you. Just remember, if you really want to make a winning robot, you should make it think and learn on its own. We've got a big problem here. There's only two people I know who can help. Well, if you really consider the context, I mean, I guess there's, there's one, one person that can help, and I know just where to find her.